morning everyone happy saturday my name is callie and this is another weekend of clarinets cats and coffee in today's video i am just going to share a few tips on speed training with you um hopefully it won't be too long and then i'm actually going to just share uh, a series of different tempos that you can practice with if you want to practice this etude um, alongside with me um so this this etude is from the close method and I find it somewhat tricky myself. Um, it's in 6-8 time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, however, uh, it sounds like it's in 3-4. And so rhythmically, it can be a little bit challenging uh, if if you're not, you know, playing with a metronome, you can, it's easy to kind of switch your brain to a different uh, type of subdivision. So um, I'm practicing this with a metronome in the video and you're welcome to fast forward and just start there and play alongside with me. Um, it is rather warm today. I don't know why I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. So um, I might be a little bit on the sharp side just as a word of warning. Uh, before we do that, I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. You guys are so enthusiastic and excited and awesome and I love hearing from you. If you want to become a patron of my channel, patrons get perks which include early access to PDFs um, and I also just post the PDFs directly on Patreon for, for patrons to just download directly from there. Um, and also patrons at the $10 level or higher are eligible to uh, participate in master classes, different patron events uh, once a month. And also if you post on Facebook as a patron of the $10 level or higher, you can request direct feedback from me. So that being said, my Facebook group, Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee, it's a practice group, and that's for everybody to join, whether you're a patron or not. And what we do there is we just post the excerpt. Um, everybody will just record themselves playing it and post it up on the Facebook group. And it's a private group, so you have to request to join, but head on over there and become part of the community. Everybody's been really wonderful so far, and it's been great seeing some new faces post videos lately. So I hope to see more of you there. All right, so in today's video, we are going to talk a little bit about speed training and setting realistic goals. So the first thing I want you guys to keep in mind when you are doing speed training and that is that it is essential that you practice every day. It's part of the learning process. Okay, somebody's backing up outside. Hold on. Okay, anyway. It is essential that we practice every day. That is how we learn and retain and remember information over time. So whatever you're trying to teach yourself to do, make sure that you review it regularly. It's not gonna stick unless you do, okay? Um, so that's the first thing, daily practice to review and learn and get things to stick. Uh, the next thing is we, work better if we set very small goals for ourselves on a daily basis. So if say um, my maximum tempo uh, today that I recorded was 100. I started at 50 and I worked it up to 100 and uh, and then and then I stopped um, because that's when things started to get a little unfocused in my head So tomorrow I would go back and I would try to go a little faster than a hundred as my goal Perhaps you've never played this before and maybe you've never played anything like it before So maybe day one day two day three even you're just learning the notes and kind of getting a feel for how it goes You're taking note of little spots that are hard for you but you may not want to expect yourself to play this rather quickly on the first couple of days because you're just, you're just trying to get it in your head and get it in your fingers. Once you kind of get a feel for it and you start to get a little more comfortable with it, that's when you want to set it to the metronome and start your speed training process. So when you do that, start the metronome at a very slow tempo that you know you can do 100% perfectly with with very minimal thought. So that way you can coordinate all of the things that we have to think about while playing clarinet. Taking big breaths, that's the number one thing. Setting a good embouchure and blowing with full 
air support, and of course, the basics of finger, hand position, all of that stuff. So you wanna be able to coordinate all of that stuff together, right? So start way, way slow. In my head, I, I tell myself, Callie, you gotta start, you gotta start stupid slow on, on day one of, of practicing these things. Okay, so, so do that, start way, way slow. So maybe, maybe like you go through, like um, today's recording session, I started at 50. That's uh, very comfortable for me, but so is everything, you know, under 80. Um, so I reviewed today when recording for you, I reviewed all of my comfort tempos before pushing it up just a little bit, okay? So um, whenever I pushed it up to like 84, that was starting to get a little bit uncomfortable for me, 92, a little bit, and then 100. So um, I stopped it at 100. So I had three tempos that were a little bit uncomfortable for me today, and I stopped it at 100. and. The next time I practice, I'm going to try to see if I can push it to 108 or 116. And so setting little goals for yourself each day that is just a little bit beyond your comfort zone is how you're going to get better and how you will see improvement. But it does take dedication, it takes patience, and you just have to let yourself learn these things. Um, so. Uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and just play these for you with a metronome. Feel free to jump in if you would like. Um, and if you guys have questions or thoughts or anything to add, go ahead and leave them in the comments below.
All right, guys, that was exhausting. I'm not going to lie. So I, I hope you guys find that helpful. And I'm expecting some of you over the course of the week to be able to reach a maximum tempo. I know many of you have really, really excellent technique that have been posting on Facebook. So I'm expecting some of you to be able to go beyond, well beyond 100 that I posted here. And I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a good week. A rest of your, wait. How does this go again? Oh, I hope you have a good weekend, a good rest of your week, and as always, happy practicing.